Hello everyone, in today's video I'm very excited to show you the brand new Revo Point Mini 3D scanner that I just now got yesterday which turned this creation that was made out of clay and sculpted in Kazumo, Mexico in May of 2006 made that into a brand new 3D printed version of the exact same thing by using the 3D scanner that you see right here alongside of the turntable that you see right here. Sorry about that. I'm super excited for today's video, guys. This is so cool. I also have the Revo Point mobile kit as well that comes with this stick and the space for you to place your smartphone. And then you slide the Revo Point from its location right here on this bracket into this one. And it's super simple. All you have to do is press this little side button right here and it releases it and then just put it onto this one and then whenever you're ready to release it, press that button on the front side of that and everything works absolutely amazing. It's been less than 24 hours since I have received it. I scanned my first item. This was my first item entirely, scanned it, loved the results, went ahead and used the software to fix everything up a little bit, filled holes in places where I needed to, uh, applied mesh and uh, let it do its fusing and all of that stuff which we'll go into a little bit further in depth uh, later on inside of the video as well but I'm super excited my next project is probably going to be this right here where I'm going to scan that and in the inside of that to potentially make one just like this and have two STL files with the lid and the actual uh, base as well so super cool. I have a couple other items. Maybe this sloth. I was thinking this little cool little sloth right here would be awesome to scan. But overall, very excited for today's video. I have my computer already ready right here, just chilling. And we will go ahead and put the RevoScan app on it right quick. As soon as we open up the RevoScan, you can see that we have the blue light and it is actually scanning. So first and foremost, we'll just go ahead and take the calibration board off just to show you guys a little bit better of what's going on. And let's see here. Okay, the application is running. Yes, we will let Revo know that the application is currently running. Everything is looking good. And then from here, we can turn the brightness down a little bit it does say that we are in a good position. Uh, some of it can be too near or excellent. I'm going to go a little bit closer. A little bit closer until it says excellent. Let's see here. Sorry about that, guys. I haven't. There it is. Boom. And now it says excellent. And it looks a little bit better. And now from here, what you're going to want to do is just press the scan button. Very simple and easy to set up, by the way. Uh, all you have to do is download the Revo Scan app, and you can do that either on your smartphone, on Mac, on uh, normal Windows, um, iOS. It's it's pretty much available everywhere, and it's super easy to use. Now, alongside the Revo Point Revo Scan app, you also have Revo Studio, which I have actually not even been inside of currently. So that's super cool that I didn't even have to get inside of that to create the new model of this right here which came out flawless like as you can tell hold on just a second guys we did have a little bit of uh, a line mishap on one of the the sides right here there it is but other than that it looks absolutely amazing looks just like the actual clay model so very excited about that sorry about the rambling guys but uh, I'm very nervous for this video as well. So if you guys would, please drop me a subscribe and hit me up in the comment sections as well. Let me know how I'm doing and let me know if uh, what you guys plan on scanning with your Revo Point Mini if you decide to get one. Now, uh, another thing I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by absolutely no one. So your subscription would definitely be greatly appreciated. Uh, this was an $800 scanner and uh just came out of pocket because i wanted to review it for you all and also wanted to use the technology uh, for myself as well which was of course the main thing that i wanted to do because this is so cool uh, i can't i can't get over it super cool but uh super easy all you have to do is press the scan button and then it will pop up all of these um scan settings that's right and you can choose whether you want the high accuracy scan. So, sorry about that. And then after you have the scan settings up, you can choose whether you want the high accuracy scan, 
whether you want different scan modes such as features, marker scan, or darkware. In the markers, you would use these right here for larger items like the hood of a car or something. For instance, if you wanted the STL file for uh, an, a hood for your Honda Civic or something like that, that would be uh, no problem to scan the entire part uh, itself. Now, we also have the accessory which is our dual axis turntable, which I do not currently have on, but it's super easy to just plug in. It's uh, plug in is right here and it goes right into the back side like so. And then once you plug it in, it should go through a little calibration after you turn it on. So we'll press and hold the button and then it will go through its calibration steps after you turn it on as you can see right there and then after it does that we will place our model back on there and see how it scans you can also go to your model list where you will see all of the models that you have available and there is the model which we scanned that created this one right here which is the same model that we are seeing right there the process is super easy and like I said we scanned it super quick as well so all you have to do is hit OK and then go up here to the top connect your dual axis turntable make sure that the Bluetooth is on and you will be able to see that the Bluetooth is on by that green flashing light as soon as you power it on and it does its calibration it will start flashing green and allow you to connect from there and it does take a little while for it to connect, but once it is connected, it will show a all uh, green light, a steady green light. And from there, once it is connected, you can change all of the axis's rotation and all the degrees of the Revo Point dual axis turntable to ensure that you get a right uh, scan and uh, super even and, and stuff and picks up everything of the model top and bottom. Now that we have everything aligned and positioned exactly where we want it, all you have to do is go over and press the start button. And three, two, one. Let's watch it go ahead and do its thing. Look at that. It's already doing its magic. Looks absolutely amazing already. The details are looking good. It even has the fine little hairs from what I can tell in the design so far. And he's just sliding around looking super cool. And now the second rotation on the dual axis turntable will be at a 5 degree tilt. And then the third rotation will be at a negative 5 degree tilt. So right there it went back negative 5 and then next time it will go up front this way uh five so amazing technology overall guys running out of things to say really but i appreciate your uh your um patience with me see listen i can't even think of what to say right now i'm just very excited about this product i also got the mobile kit which allows you to plug in your smartphone have your smartphone right there and also have the Revo point connected into the top of it like so really cool piece of technology and uh, is only about 40 bucks additional uh, so it's really cool to have especially when the Revo point itself is already 800 might as well spend the 40 and get the mobile kit as well just so you can have the ability to take it pretty much anywhere you want to especially because the Revo point runs through Wi-Fi and you can connect it anywhere you go uh, due to its own Wi-Fi connection. Now it doesn't have internet, but it does connect through Wi-Fi. Uh, the dual access turntable connects through Bluetooth. So as long as you have electricity for both of them and your laptop, you're pretty much good to go. And where it's already software downloaded onto the computer itself, you're going to be good on that as well. So it's really cool technology. Really love it. And let's see what the model's looking like so far. It's looking like we had a little bit of sliding issues. We lost track. 
but it should normalize everything and should be good here in just a moment. That looks good. Okay, the scan with the dual axis turntable has finished. Fuse the point cloud immediately. Let's go ahead and do so. Let's go ahead and press complete and it will start the fusing process, which does take a while. It's already at 8%, but once it gets up to like 10, it slows down. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video until we're done with the fusing process and I'll see you guys here in just a second. All right, guys, now since the fusion is complete, this is what the final model is looking like. A beautiful sloth. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and spin it around for you guys a little bit. Let's see if I can spin it. This is what the back, this is the underside where I filled the hole and that's where it's just gonna sit. And then you can even see all of the hairs and everything that is on the model itself. It looks absolutely amazing and the precision is unsurpassed. Look at this. Here, let me take the, the flashing strobe off of it. This is what the the model actually looks like. And this is what the the model, the STL file is looking like. Absolutely amazing mind blowing guys let me know what you all think down in the comment section below and for this video i just wanted to give a quick demonstration of what it actually looks like to quickly scan with the revo point 3d scanner quick easy and very efficient looks absolutely amazing as you can tell let me know what you all think down in the comment section below i want to thank you all for watching happy printing happy designing and as always keep it real